ascertain. What I can ascertain for now is, as a fact, is that non-members were involved in the last fracas, involving some divisions, elements of gangsterism, and also uh, some members, new members, uh, brought in, in during the uh, first few months of this year, prior to the um, limitation of uh, the, the deadline, 15th March, uh, imposed by the elections uh, committee. I can only confirm that there are non-members <coughs> deliberately creating mischief. There can be differences, there can be protests, but to go and uh, rush and um, destroy uh, public property and create mischief, uh, this cannot be condoned. We will, I've, I've given full support to the JPP and the disciplinary committee and the entire leadership is uh, of one voice here. There's no, not one dissension in the party leadership to take immediate action against anyone um, regardless from what, uh, from uh, division or state or claiming to support any of the candidates. We concede that there are limitations because uh, we are dealing with direct elections and we do not have the resources, millions of ringgit, to employ uh, adequate staff. So what has uh, been done and recommended by the JPP, and I leave it to their own uh, decision and discretion, is for the larger uh, branches. I mean, Selangor is probably one exception because the membership is highest in the country, followed by Sabah, and uh, some other states. So in these states, uh, particularly Selangor and Sabah, where there is uh, a need for re-election, uh, then special deployment will be, have to be done, which means JPP has considered that they will need to have more staff, and we are even seeking the um, uh, assistance of the uh, Mr. to probably get uh, community halls or even mini stadiums uh, to, to ensure that the uh, election is smooth. For example, you, go, you exceed four or 5,000 people, which is not anticipated earlier. Uh, uh, party elections is a democratic process. So you must allow for people to exercise their right freely and fairly. Because I think when I was in Matampau briefly with Aziza casting our votes, there were members um, I mean, whom I know for a fact were members from an early period, but then uh, were not in the list. So there was some, some discrepancy, but the JPP has ruled, once you do that, you can still cast your vote and there will be a special um, ballot box uh, uh, under the category to be reconfirmed at the headquarters. So which means uh, this instruction must be made very clear to the um, staff uh, on duty that they must not be denied their right to vote. Because if it is contentious, then they come under a different box uh, so that we can recheck, because we can't deny them the right to vote on the need to review. I am of a personal opinion that we need to review this. Because take, for example, Pensiangan or even Kuala Selangor, or even Gomba, where you know membership has exceeded 10, 15,000, and uh, to have direct elections in one center, that's not uh, really feasible. Uh, so, um, but that's my personal view. We have to probably relook at it after the elections. You can't uh, go and um, derail the process for now. You are committed to a system, and you make sure that this goes through. But then, with this experience. And the last experience, 2010, will require us to reassess uh, the uh, electoral process.